Welcome to the Trainerize client experience. When you first log in, you'll be greeted by the summary screen. The summary screen is going to show you your activity by week in a graph. Look below that, it'll show you your all-time activity, your completed workouts, completed cardio, your current weight and body stats, and progress photos. All of these are clickable for more information. If you scroll down, you'll see your recent personal bests and your nutrition information at the bottom if you connect your app to MyFitnessPal. Navigating the app couldn't be easier. At the top, you'll see three tabs. If you click on the middle tab, which is plans, you'll go to the plans page. If you click on the calendar page, you'll go to the calendar page. Let's go to the plans page. This is where your trainer will outline your entire training plan and meal plan. So on the top, you see the meal plan and you can view the meal plan by clicking view on the right hand side. Then just click view meal plan. And there it is, your meal plan at your fingertips. Below the meal plan, you'll see the calorie goal that your trainer has set for you as well as the macro goals, the protein, carbs, and fat to the right of that. Below the meal plans and the calories, you'll see the training plan. You'll see the name of the training plan, the duration of the training plan, any description that your trainer might have put for you, as well as all of the workouts inside the training plan. You can click on any workout to get more details. If we go to the calendar tab at the top, we'll be brought into the calendar view. If you look up and down the calendar, you'll see some of these icons are filled in and some of them are outlined. All the filled in icons are completed and all the outlines are either missed or scheduled. At the bottom right, there's a plus sign. You can use this menu to schedule a workout, schedule a cardio session, add body stats, add progress photos, or log meals. Let's add a workout. The list of workouts that you see are the list of workouts in your training plan. Let's choose awesome workout. Once we choose the workout, it gets scheduled for today and we can either check in or track by pressing the buttons at the bottom. Let's track the workout. When you hit track, you get taken into our workout tracker and you can use this while you work out at the gym. Another important area to look at is our settings. At the top left, you'll see three lines. So click on those and you'll see a menu pop out on the left. The third option on this menu is settings. From your settings, you can edit your profile. You can change the units you use for your weight, cardio distance, and body stats. You can schedule any reminders. You can connect to apps and devices such as Facebook, Fitbit, MyFitnessPal, and Withings. And you can change your video quality to optimize how trainerized videos look on your screen depending on your internet connection. We'll go back to the dash. Now it's important to note that from any of these screens you can message your trainer by clicking on the floating picture of your trainer at the bottom left. If you tap on the picture, the conversations will come up and you can just tap on a conversation and an instant message window will pop up where you and your trainer can exchange messages and all of it gets stored inside Trainerize. This has been a brief overview of the client experience at Trainerize. We're happy to have you on board.